Let's make a hammer. Oops. Okay, um, so what I will do first, I think, is uh, I'm gonna just establish the flat bevel and I'm gonna use the vise as kind of my guide so I don't go too far. And then I'm gonna do the curve with the uh, round five. Okay, so here is where we at. Uh, I made it. I made one bevel. I've made a couple of starting bevels, and I've made this one that is nice and somewhat polished out. Uh, I will probably refinish it later. Uh, but I'm gonna stop here with the bevels for now because I want to make the terrifying bit, which is the slot or the hole that will accept the wooden handle and I want to make it I want to make sure it will be nice and straight and this is probably the most crucial part of the hammer since this is already basically a hammer it's only need someone to grip it properly um, so yeah I'm gonna do that So drilling this uh, size of a hole with a uh, with a hand drill it wasn't a super fun experience. It didn't go very slowly, but it felt like something can go wrong any second, and uh, I would avoid repeating it in the future. It's not that anything went wrong, but just like it felt uneasy and uh, uncomfortable. And uh, so I didn't go all the way through with the drill. I uh, decided to finish. Uh, everything with the file because um, I didn't want the drill to catch at the very end and uh, yeah, bad, bad things to happen. Okay, I promise I will fix my vice very, like like soon, like now, like really. <laughs> Okay, so that's most of the hammerhead draft in and uh, before uh, doing any finishing work and uh, doing the engraving and all that, I would uh, move on to making the hammer handle. Uh, so I'm just yeah prepping the wood and doing all the shaping, shaping necessary. If you're wondering, I do actually have a, a bigger plane than this one, but uh, it needs, needs a little bit of setup, so I decided I will just use the uh, the small uh, block plane. <laughs> yes! Well, that, that's not helpful at all. I just make a somewhat close approximation give a bit of spare somewhere around here right so. Almost there. Yep. Okay, I 
think we're at the point where we can uh, hammer this. Uh, but I don't want to hammer it all the way since I want to do all the engravings and everything and the handle obviously before that but we'll just see if it goes Close. We are very close. Um, yep. So I think I will. Whoops. I will do a final touch up, and I think I'm going to leave it to that and move on to the handle and the hammerhead and finalizing. And at the very end, I will. Put it all together and it will be golden. All right, so now for the uh, engraving portion of the of the build, uh, I'm gonna use two methods of transferring the design onto the hammerhead. Uh, one is the, I guess, the proper way to do that, which is uh, which I'm showing right now, is basically to draw it on a paper and transferring it uh, with uh, some transferring paper and some wax. And the second method. Uh, just uh, drawing it on the metal itself and uh, mostly just like improvise as I go along which doesn't really sound like a method but uh, that's what I used most of the time <laughs> I traced the design onto a piece of transparent paper because uh, uh, to lift it with the masking tape wouldn't work with uh, just a regular paper because it will tear out uh, the grains or whatever and it doesn't do that with the transparent paper so this is just some candle work that I just melt in order to get a smooth uh, even layer so. Now, what I normally do before I start engraving is that I make a... Well, I need to make spirals, but I'm going to use uh, circles to get the rough uh, idea of where the spirals would, will go. 
Then I will just use a smaller and smaller diameters to get somewhat close to a spirally thingy. Uh, I will just use a slightly larger one to get the, the start. So, and uh, yeah, I just start. Okay, so this is uh, only one face uh, done. I will do all the faces around the hammer, uh, but I just want to have a quick look how it uh, turns out with the with the color inside. So, uh, at the beginning, I've used just acrylic paint, but it doesn't seem to be very robust and hold uh, very well. So uh, later on, I went and bought uh, enamel paint, which worked like really the best. Uh, the viscosity of the enamel paint allows you to remove the color while still having the right amount of color inside the crevices of uh, the engraving. Okay, so that's all the engraving done. I think it looks awesome. And uh, now we got to do the handle fitting and that's it. Wait, close this way. Oops, Yeah. All right, so let's do that. So I've decided to make another breast wedge in order to basically eliminate all the tiny gaps that are left. Yeah, and that's the uh, hammer finished. There is a house in South Berlin we walked all day and night Making a hammer of fearsome and might To bring some hope and light Now we have many eyes Shining in the sun 
man But he wanted to have just another one So he made it just for fun Okay, so uh, thanks for tuning this long and uh, like it if you like it and share it if you uh, feel like it. And uh, yeah, I will see you again uh, in the next video.